In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an Art Deco like design using the Photoshop CS6 Deco scripts, uh, a part of patterns. Now I'm just going to go to Photoshop and basically this tutorial requires a brief little bit of setup. So uh, first bit is to create um, a shape. I'm just going to go to the shape here and I'm going to use shape not pixels. I'm just going to use that option shape and the fill colour is actually going to be a gradient, a gradient with transparency. Now that's the key thing for this whole design to create this sort of Art Deco like design. Uh, there's a gradient there and that's one of the gradients with transparency. So you can just see transparent area, opaque. Right, now just going to quickly draw out this, uh, just going to be uh, a rectangular block. It's one of the things that uh, Art Deco, lots of uh, sort of designs like that. So I'm going to set the angle to be zero there. Now I've got this design. Now what I want to do next is actually delete the background because I want transparency for the rest of the design. So I don't want to see this background of uh, obviously white. So I'm just going to delete that. Yes, delete that. Now I'm going to select just range there so you've got a selection of this this gradient I'm going to go to now define the pattern so it's edit menu define pattern define that so now the pattern's been defined next step is to use a script now you might have already set up a script but I'm just going to put you go to the script this is the extended uh, script toolkit and that comes part with uh, Photoshop etc and other applications uh, creative cloud etc and there is a script called random fill in the deco script folder and I'll just quickly also show you the, the folder for that so just quickly bring that up and you can find the deco scripts in Adobe Photoshop CS6 presets deco and there's a random fill file now you can just edit that just it's a normal text file basically so you can edit that I'm using the extended script tool so just created a new so I'm just going to go back to that and you will see in the density section that it's set to 2 by default but I've actually increased it to 50 to make it I want the whole document to be filled but I don't want it like 2 or 3 or 200 because that's just too much especially with the big design I've just created so I've just got that setting now go back to uh, now of course you could save that which is a good idea I've already saved so now I'll go back to Photoshop, just going to deselect that, flatten image, just get rid of that, fill, get rid of that. Now fill, edit fill, pattern, and you've got this custom pattern here, I'm just going to select that one, that's the one I've just designed, so uh, just select that, and scripted patterns is set to be on random script random fill one that's the one i've created that with the uh, the 50 density so i click ok and now it will uh, it's quite slow because this is actual video tutorials going at the same time so it's gonna but obviously you could create other designs you don't have to just go obviously with a red design like that you could create it with any type of uh, uh, sort of uh, rectangular design but uh, and now that's it simply created there you can see this sort of angular design transparency so you can see through to sort of creates it like a Poirot I don't know if you've ever watched Poirot the uh, TV series on ITV uh, well it's a sort of like similar sort of angled thing with the, the underlying design actually being seen through again like say obviously uh, use the gradients to create that uh, sort of faded look but with a very strong shape here and there.